it's time for a quick home organization tip with interior philosophy and today I'm talking about batching. Now batching is a concept you're likely familiar with when it comes to cooking but it's actually something that can be incredibly effective to help us with decluttering. Because with decluttering we have to make lots and lots of little decisions and this can be very tiring. So anywhere we can make one bulk decision in place of lots of little decisions is going to help you get more done in your decluttering time frame. So here are some examples of what that might look like. Let's say you're decluttering your wardrobe. You might make a decision ahead of time that any clothes that are above or below a certain size are going to go. Or if it's your bookshelf that you're doing, you might decide that all the books by a certain author who you haven't read for a long time are going to go. Or let's say you're a crafter or creative and over the years you've collected lots of different types of creative materials. You might decide ahead of time that anything you haven't used in the last year or two years, you're actually going to let go. They're just three examples of what batching would look like in a decluttering scenario. But anywhere where you can make one decision instead of lots of little decisions is going to save you lots of time and lots of mental energy. Thanks so much for watching this quick tip by Interior Philosophy. Now, if you want to be the hero in your home and you want to live your life consciously by design and not by default, make sure you follow the Interior Philosophy Facebook page for all the hot tips. You should also grab the free PDF, 44 Ways to Upgrade Your Home Without Spending a Cent. It is chocked full of great ways to reinvigorate your home without costing you any money. It's a great place to start.